Welcome design students. In this series of lessons we're going to learn how to rig a character and we're going to use the rabbit character mesh that we created earlier. Now my character may not look that different but if I push play here you will see that he moves and this is just a series of random poses I use to uh, paint the weights on the vertices of the mesh and you'll see what that means later. But I did not animate him to do anything specific I just wanted to show you how he moves. Now, rigging involves creating a skeleton inside the mesh and then creating controllers that are bound to that skeleton or certain bones of that skeleton or combinations of bones that you can then easily select and rotate or move to make the mesh deform. And the bones are bound to the mesh and certain vertices of the mesh and influence them when they move. And that's what causes the mesh to actually move like skin. I have my bones hidden. You can see I have several layers here. If I unhide them, you can see the bones inside the mesh. And then you can also see if I unhide the controllers here that control them. If I select this one and rotate it, you can see I can make it wave at you. Now, if I wanted to, I could take this and key its rotation, move it forward, Rotate it up. Take this keyframe, copy it, and then paste it. And now he will be waving in addition to the other things he's doing. You can see he moved his arm a couple of times. And that is the process of rigging. Without the bone structure, we would have to select the vertices we want to move and then rotate them. We would also have to use soft selection and adjust it every time, and that would just take a tremendous amount of time and effort. So we use the bones to help us manipulate the mesh, and then we don't want to have to select each bone inside the mesh and animate it. We set up these controllers that allow us to easily move the character mesh. Now one final thing I want to say about this before we start our basic lesson is that bones are set up in an automatic parent-child hierarchy. In the case of the head, the first bone is a child of the second bone, and this bone is a child of that bone, and this bone is a child of the head bone. So when I move the head bone, all of these move with it. But if I just move one ear bone, you can see that the head doesn't move because it's a child of the head, and so forth and so on. And it's important to understand this hierarchy setup because you're going to have to set it up when we do the controllers. So in the next video, we're going to set up a simple skeleton, and we're going to set up a simple hierarchy and control system on an object other than the rabbit so that we can just understand how this process works. And I'll see you then.